Hi and welcome to the installation of Drupal on a CentOS LAMP server. What we're going to do today is install a CentOS operating system, configure this operating system as a server, install Apache web server on it, a MySQL database and PHP. When all these components are installed, we are going to install the web, web 2.0 application called Drupal on this server. So at the moment we have uh, two machines, one CentOS desktop machine, it's just a CentOS uh, operating system <coughs> configured as a desktop. And then we have um, a CentOS, another CentOS machine uh, with the operating system not installed. So we're going to go through that installation now. So the first thing we t need to do is hit enter on the keyboard to begin the installation. Okay, so it's going to ask you, do you want to test the media? If, you, if you're if you using an installation CD, it would be a good idea to do so. But because we are installing this in a VMware environment and we're using an ISO file, then we can choose to skip this. So you can select the tab key to tab over and then select to make your choice. So this is the first window of your installation. You can just select next. And choose a language that you would like to use during the installation process. We're going to use English and a keyboard layout. And we're going to use United Kingdom. Before proceeding, CentOS will ask you to confirm if you want to create a new partition, partition causing the loss of data on your hard disk. As this is a virtual machine, we can go ahead and select yes to this option. Okay, now the system will ask you to choose a partitioning scheme uh, for your hard drive. And if we have a look here, you have a series of options. We're just going to choose the default layout and select next and yes to this prompt. So here we can see some <coughs> your network card and you have the option of customizing this at the moment and you also have the option to setting your host name or to automatically obtain it via DHCP. We're just going to select defaults um, these can these settings can actually be changed at a later stage. So let's select our location. And I'm gonna choose Dublin. Okay, so now you need to enter a root password, root being <clears throat> the administrator account. So it's recommended that you use a strong password for this. It's very important that you remember this password. Uh, it, is, it is very hard to retrieve and sometimes can result in reinstallation of a whole system. So CentOS is going to ask you what software packages you would like to install along with the operating system. Now there is some default software um, that is going to be installed but we need to deselect this as we want our server to have minimum service services running on it. So we can deselect the desktop environment as we are only going to use a terminal window and then we can select customize now to further customize Okay, so we need to go through this list just to ensure that our options are not selected applications. You might need some editors. You will not need text-based internet. Okay, 
Okay, we can select next. Okay, so CentOS is ready to install and you can begin the installation by hitting next. This should take five to seven minutes to complete the installation. As you can see, the installation is progressing. Um, it's telling us that there's two minutes remaining um, after which the system will reboot and we'll be, we will be able to log in. Okay, installation is finished. Select reboot.